Yo, what's up? I'm here in Krakow, Poland at the moment. Here to tell you my lovely experience uh, in this, I would say, very lovely European country. Uh, it's a lot cheaper here. Uh, that's a lovely plus. Of the European uh, nations that I've been to, the official ones, this is definitely the cheapest. I think uh, right now, currently in 2018, it's, or in, uh, what are we, in July of 2018, it's like 3.6 Lutti to $1. So, and, and also all the pricing of everything is, is just much more reasonable. Um, you get a whole bag of muesli for, for like uh, two, one or two or three, so basically a dollar. Uh, it's Lutti. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty reasonable. Uh, just all around the, the seven day bus pass for me here in Krakow at least uh, is uh, it ended up being like twelve dollars for seven days. I'd say that's pretty darn worth it. I, I think the Swedish seven the Swedish three day was like twenty or twenty five or something like that. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, the pricing structure, the pricing in general is a lot more reasonable here. Definitely feel like I can uh, breathe when I go to the market or to uh, yeah just to get groceries. Uh, public transit's really good. Uh, the buses, uh, there's plenty of buses, and there's, they do a little sort of like a light rail. It's like an old school trolley. Uh, I would say some of the buses are really old. Some of the, some of the, a lot of the the, the the old tram trolley things are pretty old, and they feel old and kind of rickety. But uh, they do come and they do work, uh, and it's still better than where I'm from. Uh, but yeah, uh, they, I have had to wait longer here in this country than I have had in other European nations for those buses to come. And maybe it's just, at least in Krakow, which I've spent the most time uh, in public transit. Uh, I think I only did one route when I was in Warsaw. Uh, and that was a lovely place. If you ever go to uh, Warsaw, and that's not me giving them anything or whatever. Uh, that's just me because I appreciate them and it was a great hostel. I stayed in the like old town area, so right near the uh, there's like a square with like a nice little pillar and I think the old castle and there's like a fort all around there. It's great within walking distance. Went to the Warsaw Uprising Museum. Uh, that was pretty cool. They had like a replica sewer, which was fun. Uh, did that. And actually, you could also climb up to like knock on the above floor. That was pretty sweet as well. Um, so yeah, I did some history, did some cool stuff here in Warsaw. The food was good. Overall, yeah, pretty good, pretty good time in um, in Poland. Yeah, uh, the weather's been fluctuating. It, it could be sunny in like 20 minutes, so that's interesting. Some fun thing to note. Um, but yeah, uh, again, Poland's pretty great. The people are definitely a lot, a uh, little bigger here than they are in, like, say, Russia or in Scandinavia. I think it has to do with the introduction of processed meats early on in life. And my guess is, you see a lot more cellulite here. Uh, there's a lot of like puffy inflated arms in the middle-aged women here, which I find interesting. But uh, obviously younger women are, they're still beautiful and obviously the young men fluctuate between large belly and young and skinny as well. Uh, but there are more larger people here, that's something that I have noticed. Uh, again, processed meats like the Polish sausage, I guess. I hope, I think it's a thing here, actually, I haven't tried it. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, if you put processed meats into people earlier on in their life, whereas in Russia, I feel like they just don't get any food. Uh, and I could be wrong, but the portion sizes in Russia made me cry uh, when I bought something. I was like, oh God, I just had to constantly eat all the time. It was very frustrating. Um, but yeah, Poland's been a pretty good spot. The Polish people are pretty, uh, I'd say a lot less smiles here. I actually think there are more smiles in Russia, more public affection in Russia than there is here in Poland. Uh, both in Warsaw and Krakow. Warsaw was a little more of a tourist area, so there's a little bit more of that, but uh, here in Krakow, definitely a lot less. I think this is more of a city where people live, and I also heard that this is where more young people live. Um, yeah, but uh, actually I've seen a lot of older people. Maybe that's just where I'm staying right now. Uh, this lovely, lovely little uh, apartment complex here at the top of uh, the 10th floor here. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's been pretty good here. Can't really complain, and uh, yeah. Other than that, I'll be heading to Berlin next, Germany. So, with that said, I'll see you guys.